Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows, or not Windows, Ubuntu 12.0.4 in a virtual machine. So go ahead and click on Run, or uh, New for a new virtual machine. Click on Ubuntu, Linux, click on Ubuntu, type in the name of the machine you want. And uh, after that you can go ahead and click Next. My OCD got me there. So right here is you're going to assign how many megabytes of RAM you want the computer to have. So I gave mine 2048, which is 2 gigs of RAM. And I just, you go ahead and just click next through each of these. And then uh, that will set you all up. Those don't really matter. The hard drive is going to expand if you need more room and all that. So now I'll click on your virtual machine. I don't double click, but just once and click settings. Go to uh, display and crank that memory display memory all the way up to 128 megabytes and go ahead and double click and start the machine you can click next either insert the CD that you have or take your ISO file that you downloaded like I'm doing right here and select it and go ahead and click next and click in run and it's gonna go ahead and install your virtual machine just like you were going to run it off of the CD or whatever you're going to do so go ahead and let the um, virtual machine boot up and you're going to get this. From here, you're going to click Install Ubuntu. And it's going to install it to the virtual machine, not your computer. So you don't have to worry about overriding it. Uh, from here, you can see it automatically says that we all have all the checks for enough room and all that. So you can go ahead and click Continue. Click Erase Disk and Install Ubuntu. And then click Continue after that. And click Install Now. And a little menu prompt is going to come up and ask you your time zone and uh, for some credentials that they want you to enter in your keyboard layout so go ahead and fill that up you don't need that you don't need me for that and I'll be right back after it's done installing So the virtual machine is done installing. Uh, we're going to go at the bottom, you see a little disk right where I'm clicking right there. Right click on it, click remove disk, click uh, go ahead force remove, and click restart now. If, if, that, if it doesn't restart, go ahead and just click machine and reset if that won't work. But after that, it's going to go ahead, uh, reset the virtual machine, it's going to take out the CD, well, virtual CD that you put in and uh, eject it pretty much and it's going to boot up into the Ubuntu operating system now from here we're not done we need to install drivers if you watch me do this my mouse is going to be super laggy that's because there's no video card or any graphic card drivers installed in the virtual machine so what we're going to have to do is go to uh, manage I think that says at the top and click install uh, install the virtual for device drivers. I can barely read it on my screen. I'm sorry about that. I'm doing commentary after. But all you have to do is throw in your uh, password and let it install. And it's going to install. And from here, you're going to click uh, enter after it's done installing and reboot your computer. Well, your virtual machine. So as you can see here, it's done installing, so go ahead and click enter, click the little gear in the top corner, press shut down, and then in the bottom left hand corner you're going to see restart. Go ahead and click restart and let the computer restart.
Once the computer restarts, you'll notice that my mouse is a lot less laggy now that there's drivers. So from here, you can go ahead and click View in full screen, and go ahead and click Switch. Now remember, uh, right up there, it will tell you how to get out of the full screen mode if you don't know how to do that. But right now, we can go ahead and if you go ahead and use it. But if you want to install some programs, like you know Skype or whatever, the easiest way to do this is my favorite website. Just showing you that the internet's working and stuff and testing. But if you go ahead and open up the Firefox. You can go to this website called ninite.com. That's N-I-N-I-T-E dot com. You click Linux in the very top corner. Uh, you see that in a second here. You click Linux in the very top corner, and then from here, what you can do is just click on the programs that you want to install, and at the bottom, click Get Installer. So that's about it, guys. See you later. Remember to go to my website, www.elmoquin.tk. Uh, that's it. And uh, see you guys later. Goodbye.